This is Ultra Nightmare, Fiat, yeah. This is Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss literally bowing down to Victor. We're almost hitting 500 million. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, this is one of the craziest videos you're ever going to see. I had Victor Tess on my stream last night and we were talking world records for Clan Boss. And we're going to go through his team now. We're going to show it off and we're going to see some literally ridiculous things happening to the Clan Boss. Victor has basically held the world record for, I don't know, maybe the last 12 months for the majority of the time. Always coming up with crazy teams, always pushing the clan boss to its limits. And where I thought the limit was, was like here. He's like, ah, no, the limit's all the way over there. And he's like, I'm coming for you, clan boss. You are nothing to me. So you probably don't realize, but Victor is a streamer on Twitch. You should go and follow him. I'm going to put his links down below. Uh, at the moment, he's got about 4,000 followers. He needs 8,000 followers to get into the content creator plan to be able to use the test server. And if he can do that, he's going to be blowing stuff up even bigger than this. So make sure, click on the link below, give him a follow, go and show him some respect, go and join him in some streams because he's doing some silly stuff in this game. Let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy this one. So talk to us about, before we get into your current world record team, talk to us about, about the team that was kind of breaking records before and you know, what type of tactics did you use before this kind of new team popped up with Sharky getting in the mix. Okay, uh, before my team was like a meme because I was looking for Valkyrie and it was like one year, one and a half year, please Valkyrie come to me, please Valkyrie come to me. And every every people in the world was like uh, beating the turn 100 maybe with, with Valkyrie with a lot of shields. Then I had to change my strategy to uh, something with endless buffs. Then yeah. I thought, okay, I can go with a team with a lot of buffs, then I will resist with uh, Duchess as leader, with a lot of uh, mitigation, with a lot of uh, masteries, then I have to survive. And uh, step by step, I went to another team with um, Martyr, I think it was with Martyr, and uh, a lot of protections. Sure. Then, then I get that uh, Valkyrie, and uh, the game was uh, changing a, a lot <laughs> because now wow i have to make i have to make the best uh, valkyrie in the game it was like 8300 uh, yeah it was something <laughs> you know the, the first so time crazy. i got back i did the exact same thing i was like that how much defense can i squeeze onto this champion yeah it's well, my well. champion <laughs> then uh, it was i remember it was like uh, that was record uh, 203 millions, I, I remember. Yeah. I, I don't know, but I, I, I think that. Then Brago uh, comes to the game and, oh, wait, Brago is... I, I don't remember the, the line, but I changed to another tactic. Then uh, I swapped to, to Brogni's. And Brogni's is incredible because Brogni, if you, may, if you put Brogni in two for one, you can change a uh, Valkyrie with Martyr. Martyr is, it has a, a lot of uh, more utility, yes. Then yeah. uh, if you put uh, a lot of um, protection in your team, you can make the shield and then you can enlarge the shield to be uh, like a Valkyrie. And oh. then with, with that team, I, I reach, I remember 327 million, something <laughs> like that, yes. <laughs> so ridiculous yeah i mean your account a few of the guys in chat are saying it your account is stacked with gold like you've got yes. some crazy stuff is is there any champion that you don't have that you're like i really really still want that champion uh sifi of course oh sifi to, yeah to jump into the plot i think is sifi is a must yeah. i get necred two weeks ago and then with Nepret, I think I, I will I will make a good team, a good defense team at last. Okay, cool. Let, let, let's get into today's video. Oh, not today's video. Let's get into today's showcase then, Victor. What team are you running right now for Now, I am running now uh, one Krisk, only one, because I have the version with two Krisk. But you know, the people, oh, okay, you have to make, this is the world record with two Krisk. It's so easy. Okay. I will try with one Krisk, and then I, I, I could do it with one Krisk. Brogni, of course. Shall we, let's, let's have a look through them as we go, actually. So you've got a, a stalwart set, obviously, to reduce damage coming in. 291 yeah. speed. 
4.4k defense and he's because, your ally protector so yeah. you've kept his crit damage down on purpose or that just happens to be the gear you've got I on him think, i think it was because uh, you remember i have the chris team uh, from one year uh, and i think it was a uh, try fail try fail and it was accidental i yeah. never put uh, i never put critical because you see it's, it's so fast then i can't I, I only put it's some just, time. It's just to... as good as it can get, really, yeah. But, <laughs> yes, because I was thinking, like, I don't have Chris, and I know we've kind of had a chat about it already, but do you feel like this team's even possible without one Chris? Yes, but not at that level, because um, time time, uh, time before, I, I tried with uh, Hope, with the Endless team. You remember yeah. the Endless buff team? Uh, it was like uh, I made the uh, two for one, one key without uh, Valkyrie. It was so hard. And then sure. I was trying every champion with extension to make that uh, to make that work. Then I think I will take the same idea, the, the same idea now and, and try that. But Chris, of course, is, uh, is, is key here. Because so, so big with not only pass. debuffs, but also it's actually the, the increased speed that he brings, isn't it? That's... Also such a massive buff that's just continuously extended on your whole team which means that you can actually build everyone a lot else a lot slower can't you that's it yeah okay so chris is number one um yes. and then we said what brogni is his second champ yes brogni so brogni in reflex gear in reflex that's with the that crazy sarkis idea with yes. reflex and <laughs> locking the skills is what okay it's perfect then it's like a if you see here, I only have one refresh uh, piece. It's only the ring. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, it's only five percent. I think with fifteen percent, it's crazy because the damage <laughs> of the of that mid ball is increasing a lot with yeah. that skill. Then, I think I have room to to improve maybe to six hundred. Maybe I don't know. Your Brogni's got a lot of attack to, for damage to bring his shield up stronger. That's um, it. Only fifty five percent crit rate. Why is that? Yeah. Because we are running in the in the good affinity because it's it's, uh, it's the green boss. Okay. This is a fifteen extra, and because we are running uh, also Lanakis with uh, Lanakis, thirty yeah, percent. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Cool. And it's so perfect. Only one eight seven speed. That's actually pretty slow, really. Yes. yes. This is my my slow man in the two for one. Is always like that. Okay. And so let's let's be clear. There is no way you can build a team like this without Brogni, is there? Not with that idea. Uh, yeah. You can, yes, you can make something like uh, with matter, with a shield, uh, like a refreshing shield, but not that idea of infinity. It's impossible. Of infinite without. shield, yeah, because he basically keeps the shield growing whilst you're taking hits which are low, uh, yeah. to to get you to the point that you can just last such a huge amount of time. Um, okay, uh, who's next on the list? In Lanakis. So refresh gear again. Yes, with the three reference um, um, jewelry. Yeah, also. nice. Oh, and nice. also in masteries, in masteries, Lanak is special because you have the five percent uh, mitigation damage. Why have you chosen to do this with Lanakis? Because Lanakis is not that uh, huge damage dealer, and she's safe because no ally protection, no everything. Then, uh, and I think that was an experiment to make the next step. I think we'll talk about that in the nearly future. And it's like That's a concept. I, it's like a concept to to make. A, it's like to test how big is the shield with the, with the you know. With yeah. Because what's interesting, I, I don't think there's another clan boss team that I've seen where bulwark would be more beneficial than something like Warmaster. But because you're purely relying on lasting as long as possible and most of your damage is all coming from one champion. I guess that's why you're using this, is it? Yep. Yeah. It. You didn't use Bulwark on other world record teams, did you? Only for testing things. Only but testing no, stuff, yeah. No, nah, that, that is not. In, no. Interesting. Not I, I'd correct. imagine these three refresh artifacts are going to be massive yeah. here. Um, you, can, you can see the chest, please. <laughs> sure. Resistance chest, why? I don't have more. I I was like one month farming get the golem and it's impossible <laughs> to get and I not, I need that. But That's it's crazy, okay. Yeah. It's okay because with uh, this five percent plus uh, so uh, you see the defense is like 
But it's 3K, not, not 3K. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then with that, uh, it's enough to, to, I think, to the turn 137 without any problem. Okay. Do you turn off one of her skills? Do you turn off this? Yeah, yes, you, you have to use only the first turn. Then uh, it's locked to the end of the battle. So, so you use it initially and then you, you lock it out? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Cool. Okay, who's next? Next, I think, is um, Cadaver, maybe? The meatball? God. Yeah. Um, this so, is my meatball, yes. Uh, interestingly, so I had someone on stream say to me, you should do a video on Corpulent Cadaver working with Brogni. But he was talking about doing it through, like, a Doom Tower fight. And he said, you know, uh, Corpulent Cadaver's got a really interesting ability on his A1 that he does more damage the bigger his shield is. And he said, you can do it as a bit of a funny video. I was like, okay. And I started to look at him, and, was, and in the end, I didn't do it. And I'm not joking, like a week later, Sharky um, brings out this video, sort of saying about the shields. And then, like a few days after that, it's like Corpulent Cadaver comes out as like the big damage dealer for the game, and and obviously you've taken it oh, to a completely hell. more ridiculous level. So yeah, this guy. I take it you just lock yes. out everything else other than his A1, do you? Yes, of course. I mean, I, I, we're going to see it today, but I've seen images of this guy hitting for one and a half million or you know some silly silly numbers yes um so i'm surprised by this i was expecting to see i, I don't know why i was just expecting to see him with a savage um not savage like helm smasher yeah. was his kind of main mastery just because of the sort of damage that he's doing i guess um i guess warmaster just procs more damage over time does it yes because the damage is fixed then um, it's a 30 percent of the shield and no matter everything, oh, the, the, okay, weak, okay. the weak hit, the, then this is an extra, okay, it's, it's, it's okay. It's oh, extra. Fine. So his damage yeah. will never change? No, will never, never change. Only it's uh, 30% of the, of the shield. So his HP, everything else about this kit basically does, is almost like a, a heart seeker or like a husk using his enemy max HP ability. The damage mm -hmm. is fixed. His build's actually kind of irrelevant, it, apart yeah. from people need to be loading shields onto him. You will have but, but so little damage. Then it's like, okay, one and a half million, and then, okay, 50k, because, oh, a critical. No, it's not, it's not, no. You, you have to make it strong enough, all defense, to, to mitigate. And... Sure. So he, wow, he's got 5.2k defense. Yeah. A 5.3k defense. Why so much? It's too much. I, I think, yeah, it's too much, but okay. I, I was trying, okay, I, I have to see what's my more defensive set. Is of course is uh, outpassing the the cap, but yeah, okay. there is a no point one to be the cap line. Then okay, one point one extra damage with the shield. Then I think it's okay. It's better than anything. And uh, so, is there anything else important in this build here? No. Literally, just it's I want to keep him as, alive for as long as I can. Yep. That's it. And I need crit rate, I guess. Yes. The crit rate is only for okay because in the super stats I, I can reach the the cap. But it's not necessary. Only one nine one nine nine speed here, so again, that's kind of slow. Yes, it's my second. In my two for one, it's like that. It's like one eight six, one nine nine. Is uh, I yeah. have a slow, a slow through two for, two for one. I've noticed that you've got a divine set. I think we've seen a divine set on everybody so far, have we? Yes. Yeah. So that's going to be part of your shield makeup, I take it. Yes, that's um, another another crazy Sharky's idea. I think this is the most crazy thing. Yeah. Because, yes, uh, with Brogni, you can extend two shields. Then uh, I, I, I thought, okay, I can put a, shit, um, a shield uh, set, but then I will miss one set. Then it's, be it's better if I put the, the Divine. It's an yes. extra free shield, you know? Yeah. So, so your last champion then, which uh, I guess is, was an absolute shock um, <laughs> when I saw it. The last champion <laughs> is this new champion the new rare hellborn sprite yes i, I so, really honestly, love... like i mean just just think about it for a second other than chris who's very hard to get yes brogni was a fusion lanicus i guess could be swapped albeit she is really strong in this role it's everyone weird. else is kind of like apart from brogni everyone else like you could have two hellborn sprites in here couldn't you and remove lanicus yes I, I i tried but i pulled like 250 blues yesterday yeah. And okay, okay. I, maybe I will take one, two, three, four, zero. Then okay, I, ha I have to wait. <laughs> it's my yeah. luck. So this person that literally has got no feet, looks like they didn't quite finish the model, <laughs> is your last <laughs> champion. So talk us through 
Why Hellborn? This is a three cooldown uh, extensor, then, then it's perfect with this. This is a bug, it's not a passive, it's like a skill, it's a normal skill. A three turns oh, okay. a skill. That's weird, yeah. Yes. Uh, also, with critical rate, uh, now we are running Lanakis, then it's not that important, but if we remove Lanakis, this is a key because you have 13 ex, uh, 15 extra critical rate. Yes. So good. And so if also, you didn't use Lanakis, you could just yeah. build up to the 85, and she's going to keep crit rate on your whole team the whole time. Also, you can take uh, advantage with the affinity because, uh, for example, Brogni uh, has extra 15%. Then uh, you can build Brogni with 70 only. It's yes. so yeah. good. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, and also because with the basic, uh, that we can ski. Okay, yes. it's the little one, but it's so huge the damage uh, you, can, you can deal with that. One of the most difficult things about these buff extenders is they don't really have debuffs, do they? Like, I think Chris does, and obviously he's super difficult to get, but other than Chris, I don't think they bring anything. So this is quite unique to have a buff extender that's actually bringing something half decent. That was that was the key, and has a very very good proc because it's twenty five plus twenty five fifty, and with yeah. master uh, with uh, master is fifty five, it's good enough. Uh, with sure. a two for one, it's good enough. And you've gone for stalwart gear again just to keep her alive. Yes, um, because she's the leader. She's the stand. Then I uh, to remain maybe until turn one hundred twenty five. Yeah, one hundred thirty. Okay, cool. So. Let's, let's just assume then, before we get into the run, let's say somebody's got a Crisk. Yes. It's possible you could run Crisk, Brogni, and Kadaver and two Hellborn Sprites, and that would work. You just have to change the speeds up to account for Lanakis coming out, I guess. Because she no. does a turn meter fill right now. No, you don't need the speed. You only need the crit cap uh to make a little bit damage uh of course with brogness and then it's, it's the same so you wouldn't have it, to adjust because she does a fills turn meter by 30 percent no it's not needed skill. because in that position with that speed 270 yeah uh, the turn meter is not affecting at all oh really right so yeah. so actually you could just straight swap her out for yeah. any other uh buff extender so if, if i had yes. sand lashed for example could just swap yeah. straight out Yes, I think it's better because now the problem with Lanakis is, is uh, four, uh, four, tur uh, four turns cooldown. Then I have to put the reflex here. Uh, yeah. with, with three turns, I can change that with Guardian. It's my new idea with another, uh, with another sprite. Then it's a 10% more the mitigation for the, for the cadaver, I think. Yeah. I think it will be huge. But I, guess, for the I guess obviously she is bringing the ally attacks. You just get more hits from Kadaver to have her in the team. Yes, but you will have two uh, opportunities to decrease her weekend. I think forever because sometimes it will be in, in the, You will see that in the in the run. Okay. Sometimes maybe I don't know. One turn every six, uh, the weekend is down. Then yeah. this extra damage, and I think is that plus the extra mitigation for the for Kadaver. I think is. Okay, it's not that high. It's not for a world record, but I think for sure you, you can make something like 400 million or so, so with that sure. Yes, and then yes. if you took Chris out of the, the running here, you would lose decreased defense, which is massive. Um, yes. And you'd have to adjust everybody's speeds like a considerable amount, yeah? Yeah, that's the problem. But my idea is mm, that team without Lanakis and without Chris. Yeah. Only with four rares and, and broke me, of course. Sure. And try to make that with one key. I think 70, uh, 70 million is possible, but I have well, to try. I'll tell you what, because... if you do come up with the speed tune for that, we should try and do it. Even if it's through my test server, uh, we should try oh. and pull together a team to make that work because that would actually be uh, okay. super relevant for anyone. I'd, I'd imagine you still don't have crazy gear, crazy speeds to make that work, but that would be a lot of fun, actually. Yes, and my idea, my idea is with uh, that the sprites, four or three of them with guardian to make the ally protection of the Chris, and yeah. that would be barely the same with one five percent mitigation of a stalwart, and I think it's okay. I think they will remain maybe until turn eighty for yeah. sure, and so then it should I should be think enough enough key. damage. Yes. You think? Because yeah, I guess I that the whole point of this team is the the longer your fight goes on. Kadaver just hits harder and harder and harder until he gets to a point 
where the clan boss starts out hitting the shield you're gaining and then it will yes. start coming back down so it's almost like this it's kind of like ramp up almost like a mountain ramp up until you hit the, the peak and then you must start coming back down yeah yes yes but not i i manage that with the mitigation to be always uh, the my limit is only the turn limit and then i change the team to make it a balance with damage and uh, sustain to finish it in the in my turn limit it's like one three seven right okay because, because if you get a lot of survival then you will don't make a lot of damage and you have to mix uh, to make the, the extra damage okay so are you are you capping the turns or are you dying sometimes because you have a lot of rng rng here uh, sometimes when someone is dead it's perfect because it's like a rocket when you leave the the parts because then you will be like with uh, with the meatball with caliber and maybe one yeah. or two extra and then you will be at uh, until turn 150 so crazy it's a lot of damage sure but if all is if all runs perfect I think I I always stop it at 140 maybe. Turn 140, right? So yeah. now you told me you can actually run this from auto right from the start, <laughs> which is crazy as well, man. Like, yes, yeah, because this team is crazy enough already. Tough. It's yeah. actually nuts. So let's just have a quick look through what's what what have you done to allow that to happen? Rogney opens with his A3, but then won't use it again unless you step in because you have to. That's it. Lanik is exactly the same as that. Corpulent Cadaver, I guess, just turns everything else apart from his A1. Chris, you open with the A3 and then never use it again. And same, uh, and Hellborn, you open with the A3 and then um, we'll use it whenever you can. So pretty That's much it. anyone who's doing buff extension, that ability is always on. But mm -hmm. you don't want to use other skills because you've got that refresh gear on. You just want to cool down the refreshable skill as often as you can, right? Yes. Awesome, the only trolling here is uh, Lana Kiss sometimes in the first turn, in the turn no, when she gets the extra turn, if she hits again without any, um, a, a, you know, without refresh or without something like that, sometimes yeah. you have to close and try it again. Okay, it's the so only the moment. A little have... bit RNG. Yes, only the first turn. And then you have to close it and, and again. Sure, well, let's, let's try. Um... Yes, continue. Crazy, crazy, crazy that we've got <laughs> two rares in here, man. I love it. Yes. Absolutely love it. Okay. Don't touch and anything. Talk us through. Uh, let's just make sure this works before we get into actually some other stuff here. Yeah. Yes. I will show you. Okay. We, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. So talk us perfect. through the shield placement and um, what needs to happen with the shields to, to get the best benefit out of these shields. That's so crazy because, um, you know, with the Sharkies, um, that, that new Sharkies double shield. Yeah. You see, you have the standard shield. Uh, it's like the ability shield, the, the normal one with, the, with that line. Yes. And the other one with the cross is the uh, divine shield. Okay. Okay, the divine shield, um, I, I noticed uh, when I played that, when Brogni makes the AoE, both shields are increasing, okay? Because of the 30% yes. damage of the, uh, the 30 of the damage. But when the boss uh, is hitting the, um, the champs, only one of the shields are getting that damage. It's the, lef uh, it's the left one. Only oh, the first I see. So, one... so he basically, he, the, the way the clan boss works is he almost goes like left to right. It's like first That's... shield, I hit that first. Next shield, I hit that next. Then your yes. health, if there's health available. That's it. Then Got it. The, I, I always uh, I try to put all the shields, uh, uh, the skill shields to the left. Then when the clan boss maybe at turn 70, 72, remove the first shield, I only yeah. have to stop the auto, make again the skill. And then in that moment, the damage of the boss will be to the second shield, the cross one. And then the new shield will be recharging again. And then okay. we will run with like three shields. It's so crazy. Oh, really? Right. Yes. The only problem here is that um, the order, you see the only one with the opposite shields order is uh, the leader because when the, when the game starts, first of all, the game is looking for the leader. The leader will put first the um, divine shield, then the second one is Chris. Chris will make the passive, then all will take the uh, set. No. 
all will take the um, the passive, but the leader the leader will take the passive in the second step. Oh, really? So, yeah. is um just help me out here because with yes. Krisk, which which one of these shields would Krisk be? Krisk is the one of the only one line, you know. So he he would be the the kind of buff this ability is the buff rather skill. than the kind of gear ability, yeah. Yes. Yes, this is the buff. But the leader is playing first, uh, then the first shield will take, uh, Sprite will take the divine shield. Then. So, what, what the if you have Chris in the lead? If you have Chris in the then it's all, all is like uh, the fourth, you know? Or all, all yeah, will be yeah. like, and, like. And why wouldn't you do that? I tried that, uh, and it's done. It's done. You, you can try when, when you finish that try, you can try with the other one, press it. And this is perfect. But the problem with uh, Chris in the middle is that if you use the ability to that ability with the defense up, like that, the defense up, the third one, yeah. then the aggro is removing. Uh, then the, the boss will target the another one. Will never hit Chris because the the you know, uh, the boss is like, oh, uh, with that, uh, w with that defense because up, that I will never, ha yes, because yeah, of yeah. the buff, I will attack to the other one. This is actually insane. So, I mean, a few of the guys are seeing it. So basically, <laughs> Kadaver with every turn is getting stronger. Yeah, the shield is growing. Brogni grows the shield. The rest of these guys are literally just here to make sure that these buffs stay on the whole time. Brogni grows the shield and yep. Kadaver slams harder and harder every single turn as his two shields grow i mean it's just nuts this this team is actually crazy and now is crazy. hitting like 160 i think is the is the max i saw it's too much because it's like 320 damage 30 percent of that is like barely one 100 uh, shield it's a lot of shield yeah it's yeah too so much. He's, he's hitting 30 percent of his yep. total combined shield so, and, and Brogni grows it by 30 percent of his damage is it each time yes yeah of the aoe yes that one yeah. Be because of that you need the the debuffs on the clan boss always always yes yes and because of that chris is running in the blue tree too because in the in the stun you will lose the defense up Yes. But sometimes if you got if you have the thirty percent proc to make it longer, it will it will remain to the all the three turns. Yep. And and do you care about the decrease attack being on? Is that I guess that is helping us because the shield isn't being depleted as much? Yep. Uh, I am trying that, but it's so hard. I'm trying to make Brogness uh, with a little bit more uh, accuracy. Mm. To remove the attack because yeah. that is damage. That is damage to the shield, but it's yeah. so hard. The more damage you so take, the the less damage you do in effect. Yeah, that's it. I am trying, but now I have to use your your Hades uh, calculator. <laughs> <laughs> I have to farm a lot, but I think I have two two bad items. I I can change. Yeah, but it, you, uh, I, you, I, I mean, think. we've we've made some in, enhancements on the calculator over the last couple of months it's actually insane <laughs> like it, it would be interesting to to try and re um just put it into the calculator you know what you're looking for and see what it does compared to what your build is now because um is i rarely do builds without it now it's just so crazy you know what we're on turn 22 cadaver is hitting for four hundred and fifty thousand. turn 22 <laughs> and it. it's going up like twenty five thousand a hit oh man so it's crazy. So what could go wrong? You said you know, some of this is down to RNG. Yes. What could go wrong from this point on to make this run fail? Uh, first of all, I think the, the debuffs are key. The decreased defense at uh, the weekend is so, so, so crazy. Because uh, you see, now it's 120, the, the AOE. Because now the, the damage dealing is like broken with, uh, with Cadaver. It's like two yeah. two boys. Then, if Brockney procs a lot of refresh, if Brockney procs a lot of uh, high hits, strong hits, then in the last, um, I think, after turn 100, the damage will be exploding. Like maybe something like four millions for turn. It's crazy. Really? But yes. But when the first 70 rounds are so, I don't know. It's you. You see that. 
um, then you, you you know this that run is will never be a, a world record. Yeah, okay. And if you were slowing anyone down here, you, you can't really slow down Brogdy because he's growing the shield. So he he kind of needs to be on a two for one, right? And yes. Cadaver is your damage. So you think he needs to be on a two for one as well? Uh, it's because of the damage. Because uh, yeah. the last 30 turns with extra Lanaki's turn, uh, the charge is a lot of damage. You yeah. can put it maybe in one for one, but uh, for sure you will lose maybe like 100 million. The shields or might just, just, just get um, beaten down. Yes. No, not, not the shield, but the damage of him. Right. Uh, I think I think he will make uh, 100 less damage. Kadava. Kadava is hitting like an absolute freight train. 825k per hit. Okay. Um, does that scale even more with defense down? No, that hit? it's the same. It's, it's the same always thing. the same. But Brogni's damage, yes. Then you yeah. need Brogni is like the the damage dealer of the of the Calaveris Brogni. Sure. So actually, so why does Cadaver's damage not scale with defense down? Because it it doesn't care about defense. It just cares because, about his own shield. Yes, it, it's a it, it's fixed. It's like I think the code is like you will make the HP with all the normal uh, the normal conditions plus yeah. the thirty percent of the shield. Then. That is huge. That is nothing. Then all you change here is no matter, you know? It's crazy. It's actually crazy because it, it kind of means that... It, let's say you, you can't get to crazy builds on the other four. You know, you don't have your gear. You've just got kind of more basic gear. Yeah. It means that you could still get your cadaver doing the same kind of insane damage as long as Brogny's well-geared, right? Yes. Yeah. Broken, is, broken is the key. Oh, uh, uh, also, the other can, I don't know, you, you can swap everyone, but you need broken is with a lot of damage. I think yeah. 120 is a good spot to make a good damage. Yeah, you actually don't even yeah. care about his initial shield. Like, normally we'd try and build some HP into a Brogny to get his first shield up. Um, you don't even care about that, do you? Because the shield just stays on, it just grows from whatever it was. So, you could have him low health, surely, and more damage. The comp that Sharky came up with that we did a we did a showcase, and Sharky was on my stream actually a, a couple of weeks ago. So it's his idea, kind of Sharky working with I think Deadwood came up with the idea of Cadaver coming into this type of team, but did it on easy, but couldn't really make it work on Ultra Nightmare. And then uh, Victor was like, "Well, I'm going to make it work. <laughs> I'm going to make it work and do some silly numbers." <laughs> And the, the mm. point is that you will see that that run is not that perfect, okay? Because now you see one damage is still not getting. Maybe it will be in, in turn for uh, 55. It's not that high, but uh, but you will see the damage is always going high. Uh, and you have yeah. to fine tuning with the master. It's just so important with the ally protection, with the guardian. You have to. I, I I want to try that with two Hellborns because the Guardian here I think will be super super important. I tried some some I, I made some tests and the damage is rocketing. Uh, maybe with one test the higher damage I think it was like one and a half million, and right. then I tried with the five percent extra in Lanakis and then it's it's like one and seven. It's too much. Then I think with Guardian. Okay, two million is too much, but maybe one eight or one nine. Yeah, I yeah. think it's possible. So anything you can crazy. do to stop yeah. Cadaver taking more damage, anything you can do to just squeeze a bit less damage coming into Cadaver is yes. going to help that shield continue to grow. Guys, we just hit for a million. Just hit for a million on an A1 with a rare. <laughs> Actually, fine. nuts. And you said around yeah. turn 70, you might need yes. to step in. Yes. We have to seek risk now. I think in two, three turns, you will see the the first shield is uh, will be finished. So you and think the class will hit through the first shield? Is that is that the danger? Yes. And okay. then you have to stop the auto and make Brogni's A3. So if I've understood this correctly, he hits through the first shield because he starts doing more damage than you're, than you're improving. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You then apply the, the new, fresh version of this shield which is an ability shield but because yes. the other shield takes its place the clan boss starts hitting into the big shield that's remaining 
That's it. And then you start to stack up the other shield again. Is that right? That, that's it. That's it. That's so crazy, actually. It's so clever. It's so crazy. So clever. You will see. I think this AOE is the is the one. You have to stop the auto fast because Chris with the extension will put another hell. So it's Chris I'm looking at. No one else. We're not no. worried about anyone else. He's doing well. He's doing well. I think now in one two turns is is done. We're about halfway. We're not even halfway to the world record, guys. We've been running it for 28 minutes. It's just crazy. I guess that's the thing. Like people say, well, this isn't obviously what you're gonna do on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's fun to try this stuff. Uh, so, so now you have we to lost stop. It. Okay. okay, the alpha. Now A3. So we we do the A3 with Brogni to reapply the shield that's gone. And that's it. And, then and now it's again. alto. Yes. Now the boss will hit always the the second shield. The second yeah. and the, you know, that So the clan boss is now focused on the big shield that's left. And yeah. this one starts to stack up again. Yes. And that's like 12 extra turns to, the, the, to die in the turn 120, maybe. Yeah. Is, is there anyone else that we're now looking out for that that might happen for again later on in the run? Uh, Brogni. Brogni, in, I think, in eight or ten turns. Um, right. After Kresk, yes. And then the other says, no matter. Doesn't matter. No. Sure. Just read it here. Something Galen in streams written. That's how I extend my runs. I have my shields tuned that the skill shield gets bashed before the artifact shield. Then the skill shield goes back on. Yeah. Um, it's really clever. Like, I, I didn't fully understand what you were saying before I've seen it in action, but now I totally yeah. get it. And it yes. makes complete sense in terms of like the way the game is coded around it. So that's actually. Um, yeah, that's that's like big big brain stuff. 0.37 million guys. We're almost at 1.4 million a hit. Yes, we are hitting that. <laughs> Let me check my my Excel. 83, 1, 3. So have you what have you got? Like a chart that tells you what you're on for based on on your yes. damage? Yes. I have an Excel. It's it's crazy. All me all, all my my progress with a lot of clan records with a lot of change. every every time i change something i record that because when you finish of course i have to record every run i made because when you are finishing you are thinking about a lot of new stuff yeah. and you have to see it's like the football you have to see actually, what, what happened and then mm, yes and then you have here you have to put but that's so easy you only a3 and then out again that's it. So I was just trying to make a point there. So I've done the same thing again because Brogni lost his. So yeah. Brogni becomes your kind of backup of re-extending the fight. It's, as long as you're watching, obviously this is like what you do for a world record attempt. If you're just playing the, the team through and you know it's done a one key, you just leave it because you're so far past a one key anyway. It doesn't matter. Of course, um, of course. Yeah. So so Hel Hellborn Sprite here has lost her second shield. Yes. But we but, can't do anything about that. So a blood shield ring, you don't think would be the way to recreate that? No, but she's tanking so good. Now I think uh, she will do that turn 130 maybe, maybe 128. But it's, it's not a problem because now you are dealing the last, uh, last hits and then yeah. you will have more turns with Cadaver. Then it's okay. It's, okay. Not that, it's not that key. It's not that crucial. Someone's saying here, speeds would be really hard without, bro uh, without Prisk. Have you got an idea of what sort of level of speed you'd need people running to make this work without Prisk? No, but uh, I think it's like 30 more speed in every champ. Maybe not that, uh, not that flat because you, yeah. you, can, you can change the turn meter, but I think between 25 to 35 maybe. I can, I can try it. I, I can see it. But I'm waiting for another rare to change that. Maybe two more rares. Yeah. Yeah. So someone's saying here, um, no sanity. Chris never puts a speed buff on himself. So Chris has got speed buff for everyone else. Doesn't put it on himself. That's why Chris's speed's actually pretty high here. I mean, what are we up to here? Nearly 1.6 million per hit on a rare. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming up to turn 100. So you're saying we could probably run this to about turn 140. 1 1.6 mil just comes over the line, uh, Victor. It looks like Cadaver's damage has like peaked. I don't know if it's if we're going to see it continue to grow, but he's done a, like 1.6 mil. 
Yes. It looks like he's kind of just leveled out now. So the clan boss is now hitting for as hard as the shield is growing by the looks of no. it. No, it's recovering because you have one stand turn and then you have two uh, for a little bit low and then with the stand is recovering. And also you have the refresh and also you have you have a lot of recovery time. Okay. Now you will have... Mm, so it will yes. start to grow again. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, that, that's the RNG part that you were talking about, is it? Just... That totally it. depends on, on what happened. Yeah, okay. So pe people are asking here, can we replace Lanarkis with Godseeker? Um, all of the buff extension champions could be replaced. Ideally, you want them on a three-turn cooldown, the buff extenders. But if you don't have Christ in the team, then the speeds would be different. Christ is giving you an increased speed buff. None of the other buff extenders do anything like that. You can change that, but now I think the extra, the charge and the extra critical and everything, I think Lanark is here is, is better. Yeah. And what about, than, um, so if you don't have Krisk, let's say you had Sand lashed in. So let's, let's assume we could get to the speeds we want and Sand Lash mm -hmm. replaces Krisk. I, I guess Sand Lash will never get the ally protection out to start extending it, will she? I was just wondering if you could duplicate what's going on with the ally protection using Sand Lash, but I don't think you ever get to a point where... It will actually go on. Yes, I think you have to. Yeah, would it work actually? To that. I think. I think no. I think it's, it's so hard because you have to proc that so fast, and then you have to to extend a lot. I don't know, yeah. but we can try. <laughs> we can try. Also, with two Krisk, uh, this is important because if you want one of the Krisk uh, as leader to take the the stun, you should take this Krisk with the same speed because if you put the, the defense up, you remember, you will change the focus of the sure. stun. Then 2-2 two, two is okay, but you will change the focus maybe to another one, to another champion. I yes. mean, damn, 1.7 million hits. He's hitting, <laughs> yes. Flipping heck, it's absolutely oh, yeah. insane. I mean, for anyone who's, who's dabbled in clan boss, getting past turn 25 is hard. Like the clan boss hits hard after turn 25. Getting past turn 50 for an experienced player with crazy gear with good champions is incredibly hard to do. And we're talking about cruising past turn 113 and still extending our shields by more than the damage that's coming into us. It's, it's hard to explain to you how bonkers this is because it looks like, oh, we just pressed auto and it's going. This really is insane guys this is absolutely crazy to see this is ultra nightmare clan boss literally bowing down to victor because <laughs> victor has completely owned him that's what this is this is actually insane so we're almost hitting 500 million i mean <laughs> it's just so stupid it's basically three times better than my best clan boss team that i've ever built and the gear's not really any better like your gear's not better than my gear i don't think I think it's yeah. just the comp is so ridiculous. I think it's the combo and maybe the synergize and maybe the mm. you have also to see the masteries because I think you can change everything but the gear. When you have the gear, you have to change the masteries, you have to change the setup, you have to change everything. Yeah. Uh, what's the world record? So it is Victor's world record. He hit it earlier today. Five, seven, one million is what he hit before this run. So, oh, there goes Hellborn Sprite. 131 turns, oh, first person has gone down. Yeah, um, yes, now we have more turns. So I take it we lose the two for one speed ratio at this point because one person has dropped. No, 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 because now you have also Lanakis with the extra buff, with the extra bar, then it's fixed, you know? Oh, does it? Yeah. Interesting. So, yes, sometimes when she brokes, uh, it's, it's fixed. Oh, well, Chris has gone down as well. Yes. And now that three is until the end of the world. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Now, now it's fun. Yes. It's like how who's gonna win? One million versus one million. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who's the clan boss here? That's the question. Like, who's the actual clan boss? It's brilliant. So crazy. So good. Five hundred and sixty million damage. Is this your second highest run? Yes, but I think now you are so close to getting the... Yeah, the, the damage is coming right down. You can see his shield must be... Yes, the, the turns. 
because I, I'm calculating is one three seven plus they synchronize you have one turn extra two turns no I, I think you're out no you're out of the turn limit oh really is that have we gone past it uh, yes you're so close yes I think so I end out. it oh we're about to die anyway oh yeah yes maybe four turns earlier five turns maybe serious right okay yes well but there you go guys five six three million damage <laughs> absolutely ridiculous let's, let's just quickly have a look through your masteries and stuff for anyone who's just kind of joining towards the end because um people are going to want to know broken the game on ultra nightmare clan boss pressing auto from the start <laughs> That's actually it. ridiculous um yeah let's just have a quick check through these champs again then so chris in stalwart gear and he was the first to die, actually, wasn't he? Yes, because of the ally protection. It's too, yeah. it's too much. And without the green master, it's, it's normal. Yeah. So you think there's more value in Hello Master Hexa yep. rather than Blast Proof and the kind of reduced damage? Yes. But if you run something like Dra Draco or maybe, I don't know, uh, then Chris will be in the in the green for sure. Okay, uh, Brogni, the Brogni was in um, refresh gear, yeah. reflex. I always call it refresh, reflex uh, yeah. gear, yeah. reflex. And he has got Giant Slayer for the extra damage that he does. Yeah. And again, you've gone Master Hexo. Is that just in case you land the burn? Yes, because sometimes the uh, HP burn is, is extra damage. So Cycle of Magic is literally you want to reduce his A2 as many ways as you can. That's so it. This is a chance it's going to proc. Yes. And we miss two two pieces of refresh. I think it's so important because at yeah. 10%, yes. 10% would be huge, wouldn't it? You have to reach the extra. You see the banner now is attack. If you, you can touch it. Yes. Yeah. Because of that, uh, my accuracy is like 146. Uh, but yeah. attack is a stop. I really need that deck. Dava is in stalwart gear, which is important because he has to stay alive for as long as possible. But not just stay alive, he has to reduce the damage that's coming into him as much as possible, yeah? That's it, yeah. And in masteries, the green masteries to, to take damage out. Mm -hmm. I guess things like Life Drinker is pointless. No, yes, it's pointless, but I don't know where to put it. I guess Heart of Glory doesn't do anything for him, does it? Yes, that's it, because there's so little. So you're actually taking Rejuvenation to take the shield, the shield. up rather than that, Heart of Glory. Yes. That's really key, because the shield is the, the real damage. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That's clever, actually, yeah. And then we've got Hellborn Sprite was also in Stalwart Gear to reduce yeah. the damage that she's taking. Um, good amount of defense. Really low HP, actually. Didn't with good, really much. With, with a good resistance, also. <laughs> yeah, she's in... <laughs> <laughs> so Lanakis again reflex. She's got the resistance chest on. That's it, that's it, the resistance. And I think that's the spot I have to change with the guardian set. I think it's key here. So would it not also be worthwhile taking selfless defender here? No, but it's only taken in the first turn because the um, it's like it's oh, like it's the first, the in the first round, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, yeah. no. Yeah, not yeah, it makes really. sense. Yeah. And I guess anyone could take Bulwark here, yes. but it's, it's useful. So you said you've tested with and without this, and this has definitely pushed Kadava on much. further into the run. Yes, too much. And also you only have one. I told that, and I, I made the test, and it's real. With, with two Bulwarks, it's the same. It's really the same. Yeah, well, I know that we did a video on this on the um, HH Gaming channel. Bulwark will only work on one champion in the team, and it's only the person who's furthest up in the um, the order, turn order. Yes, the first one, and then the other is like nothing. As if, then only as if one. Wasn't there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's important. Yeah. Let's just see what your max damage would be in any gear. So you would lose the chance to refresh your ability because you'd lose the reflex gear. But you gain 16,000 per hit on a 44,000 hit right now. Every three turns, it's like... If, if my maths are right, it would give you about an extra, very small, 
amount of damage, like an extra couple of thousand damage. But again, it's taking Trunder's Ring, which you wouldn't use. Awesome. Think... Look, Victor, thank you for <laughs> coming on to stream and sharing all this stuff, man. It's absolutely brilliant. And what an achievement to not only beat the world record, but to absolutely smash the world record into smithereens. Um, absolutely awesome, man. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed that. It's so cool. funny. Well, look, and... I just got to say again, Victor cannot use the test server. Okay, he doesn't have enough followers on his Twitch right now. So please go and sub to him on YouTube. Go and follow him on Twitch. I will drop the details on the YouTube video down below, but we'll drop it into stream chat right now. He absolutely deserves, <laughs> he deserves the test server to test this stuff out because he's doing more than most content creators are in terms of pushing this stuff on and, and actually building stuff that we wouldn't see outside of this. So um yeah as i say again absolutely insane buddy and um yeah let, let's hope that we can push you over the eight thousand. you really deserve it thank you very much i really appreciate that thank you thank you and i think it's funny because in the test server i think i will try i think i will i will lose my life uh, also my my wife but i think <laughs> it would be great for the content creation yeah for sure for sure